This is Bill Arman. I'm the head harvester from the West Coast. And I'm Steve Caesar. I'm the head harvester for human resources from both coasts. This week, Leadership Trivecta once again. And today we're going to talk about qualities of the followers. And if you're a leader, you're going to have, have followers, them. right? Have followers. Okay. Now, to be effective, the leader must have a firm and accurate understanding of their followers. Here are four key qualities of followers. Proficiency, resistance, opinion of the leader, and expectations. Let's talk about those. I'll talk about, I'll talk about the first one. <clears throat> first thing a leader should do is identify the skill set or the proficiency level of his or her followers. By doing that, they're going to conduct an assessment to find out what their followers are good at and what they need help on because that's going to allow them to prioritize their tasks to make sure the goal can be accomplished. Resistance. This is number two. All wise leaders <clears throat> know followers have resistance. Some followers may have a lot of resistance oh, yeah. and others a little, but they all have some <clears throat> resistance. The effective leader addresses this consistently and constantly and knows that the resistance must be overcome in order to be successful. The third key feature of a follower is what are their opinions of the leader? What do they actually think of the leader? Do they think of the leader as having a lot of trust or having a high degree of integrity? Or do they think that leader is simply trying to motivate them out of being power hungry, being political, or something trying to help themselves in their own careers? So the degree to which the followers understand the leader to be more noble versus selfish can obviously is a big feature in determining, in determining the effectiveness of leadership. Last one, Harvester Bill. Then the fourth one is expectations. Followers have expectations. All followers <clears throat> have expectations of their leaders. Effective leaders understand those expectations, organize them within their leadership style, and manage them appropriately. Ineffective leaders do not consider follower expectations. That's pretty good stuff. Got to have them. They have expectations of the leader, trying to so, get promoted or helping the company, whatever. So no followers. You aren't going to be a leader, not, are not, you? Not for very long. Hey, this is Bill Arman, head harvester from the West Coast. And Steve Caesar, head harvester for human resources from the East and West Coast. Now go out there and harvest your potential with great leadership.